I'm making this tape here today for the, the more choices in Ireland. They're on YouTube, kind and old pricks, with a few bottles of beer in front of them. John, Davey and old Joe and young Joe acting out handicaps here. Yeah. I'm only telling you here now, the whole world is going to be looking at this area. Yeah. And I'm only telling you from me heart. And, and the whole world will tell me I'm right. I can't be wrong, but I'm right. Okay, you tell him Barney was bad. Trevor was bad. My young fellow was bad, yeah? Okay. Going back seven years ago, 2006, there was three fights, there was three fights with me brother Barney, the old fella, and Trevor, yeah? Okay. Who was the three winners on the day? The tape is there to prove it. Barney bet John in seven minutes. Me old fella bet Joe in four and a half minutes. Me brother Trevor bet Davey in 16, 16 and a half minutes. When big James Quinn gave the fight to our Trevor, big John Navidson gave the fight to Trevor. At the end of the day, it was only three McGinley men walked down the road and took home three titles. Amongst 50 men. At the end of the day, give us some kind of nature. We, we don't have to prove it. It's there, it's there on tape to prove. At the end of the day, Joe, you're coming up saying, I bet I'll lay this that time. My father bet you five times. Joe, get copper, man. It's only, it's only in the chemist for four pounds, get a bottle of copper and drink it. And realize, tell your sons you were a vet. It's on DVD you were a vet. How can we prove any more? We can't. You're bringing 40 families into our arguments. You're bringing Navins. You're bringing Cochrane's. You're bringing old Donald's. You're bringing the McDonald's. You're bringing everything into our argument for, for me and your fight, Joe. The furies you're bringing into it. Joe, what is this for, Joe? Do you understand, Joe? Listen to this. You bring a big Atney O'Donnell from London, who bet your daddy years ago. The whole world knows that. Big, 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 big Michael uh, 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 O'Donnell, Sinta. He saw a fair play in the fight when you when you got bet, old Joe. And your sons and your sons fought the O'Donnells. You, your sons, your sons got carved and, uh, and shook hands with them. How can you bring them into? How can you bring them in our fight? You can't do that. Do you understand? They're our breed. The Brim Packers is our breed. Do you understand that? Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael was old Roscoe Michael was my grandfather. Was the best travel man in the world. A big Martin McDonough was uh, was the best other travel man from Brim Packers. He bred all the Brim Packers, and he's he's my grand uncle. How can you bring them into it, Joe? Bring the Navens into it. Bring bring the McDonoughs into it. How are you going to bring all them into it? Me your argument, Joe. Will you get a bottle of cup on, Joe, and spark yourself up, will you? If you if it's between me and you, stay between me and you. Go on, Barney bed, Barney bed, John Joyce in seven minutes. Trevor bet a bet Davy. The old fella bet bet old Joe. And listen, you're bringing furies into it. But at the end of the day, if you bring a fury into it, you maybe you maybe want to see a good fight between Barney and this. this between two good men, got listen, you haven't got a man to, to, to fight Fury, but we have a man to fight Fury. We have him. Not you, we have him. My brother Barney will take the ring any time with Fury. Out of the ring. Out of the ring or in the ring, with the gloves on him, bare knuckle, in the ring or out the ring. But we have respect for Fury. Fury's doing a thing for, 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 for every traveller man in the world, fighting for a world champion. But we're not bringing the Furies into this. Ye are, ye are the men they bring the Furies into this. We have to think the world of Tyson Fury and his father, uh, uh, Tyson, uh, uh, John Fury, and his uncle Peter Fury. We have to think the world of them. But if you want to bring the Furies into it, if you want to see a good match, put money where your mouth is, put Barney in the ring with Tyson Fury, you'll see a good fight. And I promise you that, see a good fight. And listen, young Joe, young Joe, if you want to fight me, young Joe, I will fight you with my cousins up in Brent. Or I'll fight you in Martin, in Martin, in, in Martin McDonald's, my uncle Martin, my grand uncle Martin, in Brink. Oh, John's boys. Or, or if you want, if you don't want, if you don't trust him, uh, go to Hitler's boys in, in Hammond Hanster. Listen, I'm here to fight. 
I'm, I'm not cutting shorts. I'm here to fight now. And listen, don't give, don't give April. I'll fight tomorrow morning for New Year. I be in in the Prime Parkers, be my uncle, my granduncle Martin's place in, in, in London. And then, listen, if, if you don't trust that, them people's places, I'll fight you in in, in out Hitler's place in Hammerhanster. If you don't want, if you don't trust him, go and fuck off yourselves. In January, in in January or or or, or, or New Year, go and get lost with you. You drug addicts, see. You hurlways, you bastards, see. And you see, Grandy, afterbird, uh, afterbird. How can you? How can you put an afterboard on against a traveller? How can you put an afterboard against a traveller man? You were a little monkey, that's the size, not at the size. You were Big Joe. Have, to, have respect for Big Joe. Big Joe was a big man. Graham G was only this little height. He was a little baby, a little monkey, that's the size. And Big Joe reared him up to that little size. And he got After him married. Birth. He got him married to his daughter. <laughs> Gramsie, you see the milk you go. Oh, Gramsie, Gramsie, Gramsie. You're a holy show, Gramsie. And you're bringing every kind of name. We... Gramsie, you're a show. And Big Joe, listen, Big Joe, listen, at, at the end of the day, have, listen, I have respect for you, Big Joe. You're a good man in your old day, but you were never no good to me, father. You said, you, you, meet, you meet the truth, Dan Rooney betcha. Dan Rooney did betcha and break your leg with, with a few clouds. And my father bet Dan Rooney. Oh, you told Bobby Gunn that job. My father not 14 or you're bobbing, you're bobbing the head. And what proof have you got? There's nothing else proof. We have nothing else proof of you. If you want to get, if you want to fight me, get to England. I'm going to fuck off yourself. I get lost. You ain't never bet me, Joe. You know that you never bet me. Go and fuck yourselves. Have you seen your uh, video you made? That you said, get Hitler and his son to show up here, player. We accept Hitler and his two sons, and his two nephews to show up here play. On the 19th of April, Hitler and his two sons were going collecting you, and his two nephews were going collecting Joe. And I take them all hammering, where Joe would gladly thump the face of you. Now, Sam, you're talking about Dan Rooney. Dan Rooney was a gentleman. The only man was laying there going and lifting off the ground was your father from Dan Rooney. But Dan, Dan was a serious man to fight. Your father wasn't able to stand him and fight him. So, Give up your shit talking, and on the day my day will be ready for you, Barney, and on the day I'll be ready for you, Annie, and on the day John will be ready for you, Michael. I have another nephew, I have one of the greatest nephews in Ireland, but in the world I'm one of the greatest nephews. He'll be there for one of me, and the other nephew will be there for the other one of me. And if you don't want to fight, one Joel accept you, say me on the day, and let other shit crashes forget about it. Right, Simon, thanks for setting the channels. We'll, I'll go to England on the 19th of April and I'll be picked up in Oxford, that you'll be picked up in Stoke and Trent wherever you're living. We'll get the fight on and I'm glad that you accepted, you accepted the fight. And just make sure to come out now to the bed, Jan. I'm happy, we're happy with all the fellas in Manhattan side to show me fair play. I have no problem with the minute hall. The boom is in his own nephews. We don't really know the people, you don't really know the people. I seen a show on Fair Play before that showed show the height of Fair Play. The show on Fair Play for Big Paul and Jimmy Quinn's mic and couldn't look for anything better with the people. There's no McGinley going out the road. There's no other names going out the road. There's no Jace going out the road. And if McGinley goes out the road, it'd be the fight a Jace. If he makes the puss about he wants to go, he'd have to fight a Jace to come out. Now that's the end of the story. Short and sweet. See you, Simon McGinty. Thing here speaking at the moment, this is the play going back to uh, you, Joey Joyce, at Bolt. Okay, Joey Joyce, you and your father went down last night on Facebook making a, a date and time to me and you box in England. Yeah? Okay, well, I made a date and time for you. You and your father's going on saying me and you was fighting on the 19th of April. That's not a shit show, me and you was not fighting on that day. You know we're not fighting on that day. I give you a date and time from New Year till January. Get yourself out of Hitler's place and have an answer to box me. Yeah, I never said no April. I said I'm not fighting that April. I'm fighting from now, from, the, from, from Boxing Day till January. If you're not in January on next month, it's only a few days away, Joe. For five or six days away, you should be you should be having enough to bait me. You don't need five months of training trying to bait me, Joe. Watch what you said on YouTube. You said I'm only a five minutes man. You will you will only need a few months training to bait me. 
Hey Joe, I'm, I'm giving you a date and time to be in England. You and your family get to England, just plenty them in here to box you, yeah. I'm giving you a date and time in Michael, Bumby's Michael's yard on the 5th of next month. It's, it's January, yeah, on 5th of next month. Get your 50,000, get yourself over, get your father over, get your brothers over. If you don't want them to fight, that, you know, just get me, just get a fight on between me and you. I'm fighting for no 20,000 or 30,000. It's 50,000 pounds, not nils. It falls on the 5th of January. I'll be in our Hitler's place on the 5th of January to box you, Joe. I'm giving you a shot at the fight now, Joe. But I'm telling you, get to England now if you want to box me, Joe. I am the king, Joe. You know I am the king. You can't go around and give me dating times. I'm giving you the dating time. I'm the winner. We hold, we hold your victory, Joe. You don't know nothing about the falls. Your own father was bet five times with my father. Barney, Barney bet John. Trevor bet David. What have you got to prove? What have we got to prove to you? Everyone out there, if you, Joe, wants a shot at me now, I'm, I'm Michael, you know, the bummy's bum Michael, you know we will box. We'll be in your side in, in, in two hours time if Joe wants to box me. Tell Joe, get his £50,000, get him over on the 5th of uh, January to box me. If he's not here on 5th of January, go and fuck his head. I'm a businessman, I don't have to go look for a living, Joe. I don't have to spend 24 7 to train for you, Joe. From what have I got the proof to you, Joe? I have not the proof to you. You never want to fight in your life. I, I own your victory, my brothers own your victory. Get yourself to England and get your 50,000 pounds as well. And get it in Hammond Hanster's side on the 50 next month. If you're not on 50 next month, never get on YouTube. Never get on Facebook for me, Joe. You fucking big Nancy by ya. Call us names. We will not. We, we won't have you fight come fun of us, me, me father, me brothers. What did you win? On the all your handshake show. You never won that, you and your father. Or your brothers. And John. See poor John with Barney Bates. A drug addict that took out of rehab. Go on, cop on, lads, for yourself. And get yourself a life. And stop going on YouTube and Facebook for it. The whole world will know we fight. You don't need to put up a fight back for five months, Joe, to fight me. You need to go to bait me. Why five months for? I'll fight tomorrow morning, I'll fight now. And I'll fight on the 5th of, uh, the 5th of January. Don't be acting the, act the pussy, Joe, say I won't fight. I'm fighting you. Yeah. I'm not fighting on the 19th of April, I never give you that day. I'm the man that's giving you the day. I, I seen Chalice back to you, Joe. You never seen Chalice me. I ain't giving you the day and time where to fight. If you're not here, I'm claiming victory. And go and get lost for yourself. And now, Joe. You can't put other men uh, 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 on YouTube with Barney the sick man to show Barney he lost his fight. Barney came back and bet Paddy Moore and won his fight. And, but I bet you, I bet you anybody what you want. You haven't got a proof of, of one of your sons beating us on YouTube, have you? Only us beating me the whole time. And, and telling the world, telling the world we won't fight. We will fight. I'm here to fight, Joe. I'm here to fight. You know I'm here to fight. I'm in training this morning in the gym, man. I'm out here training at the minute. Where you're drinking and taking drugs. Go and get lost yourself and get a bottle of cop and a smart your fucking brains up. You crowd of drug, drug addicts. You'll hear no more of me. If you're not here on the 5th of next month, you'll hear no more. I'm finished. That's it over and done to with Joe, me and you. Get yourself in England on the 5th of next month and 50,000 as well and fight me. And now Hitler's yard up in, in, in Hammond Hamster. And go and fuck off yourself, you call a drug addict, G. Up the McGinley's! Yes! Yeah, we're the best! It's over! Time again to you. Saw your tape there a few minutes ago. You said that you will not fight me on the 19th of April. You went along and you said on YouTube there a couple in a couple of DVDs that you made that you'd fight me anytime, three months, five months, six weeks, I tomorrow morning. You said the sixth of June, anytime you said you'd fight me. I come back and give you a date to fight on the nineteenth of April, which is thirteen or fourteen weeks time. The two of us will have no excuses. Let the best man win, which is me. You won't agree to that. You went along, you mentioned the, mentioned the Bumbies to show you fair play, I accepted it. You mentioned 50,000, I said I'll fight you for 20,000 pounds. You said come to England, I'm going to England, I'm doing everything your own way, Simon. Now you're switching that you want to fight me in five days' time. Get a bit of cop on, Simon, yourself. You buy a bottle of cop on, because you're a show. You're going around with smelly clothes on you, a, a smelly people you are, businessmen, you're dirt. I see no shirt and ties hanging out with you. You make these folk, or go on. Right, Simon. Dog shite. You said the other day you come over to Apple Beer and fight in Apple Beer when you maybe have about four or five hundred people, would you? Right? 
We're only a one family fighting men we are, right? We're like Paddy Ward on Galway. Doesn't have no big army behind us. We're going over the 19th of April, the man I had in sight, I was already chatting young man Naban, Bumby's nephew. I was already into him. You're getting connected with Bumby Michael. To be brought out the road, my Joe's getting connected with the two boys. To be brought out the road. Joe's bait new boy. Bait new. You only dog shite now, right? You not, you're terrified of Joe. I'll be here on the day for your old father. They give him another bait and the brain dog him this time permanently, right? Davey's for Barney and John is for Michael. Now listen, if Barney does not want to fight you, your father want to fight me. Joe will be there on his own for to fight you. Don't be back an hour, don't be getting notice. Every time in England, Ireland knows it. Every man's entitled to a three month training. There's a boy in these three months training for to be at you. He's going to be at you. We'll be there in England on the 18th of April and fight me the 19th. Trust me in that boy. Right. Trust me in that. And if, if he don't fight us, I'm going to go and let him me. Is there any McGillies out there who will fight us on the day? You're supposed to be the fighting men. So you're getting all the McGillies down because you have a lot of fighters now when you do be fighting. A lot of people go out of the middle of fighting, right? If he won't fight us on that day, there must be some McGillies in fights. There's there must be some McGillies. Supporters. All the supporters, some of them will fight. I have three grandsons. Three champions, I have a grandsons. And I have three champions of sons, believe me, and I'm a champ. Right, this is, that was going to all the McGillies out from Ian McGillies as well as a moat and, and his sons, right there, gentlemen, we're not to say what in boys. It's going to you, Simon, you're saying you're a businessman. You were reared up in shit. Your father and mother reared up in shit. You never had a clean plate or a clean mug in your life. You're eating shit all your life and you're talking shit all your life. Oh, That's what you are. Right, Barry McGillies, <laughs> I asked you for the last two years. I am begging you for the last two years. Just be ready on the same day as Joe. It's only another 12 weeks. We are going to Vinland and we are finishing you. You won't come back to Ireland to fight us. So we are going over to you and we are making a shy of you. Punch bags. Out there in the beginning, you only had two fights all your life. The two fights you had is Ante. Dan Rooney, the man slaughtered you. You're fighting my father, he slaughtered you. You ran through the crowds with the same two fights. How are you any good? You are good for nothing, people. Now, Barney, go behind behind the camera. Accept your fight and come out and fight me and let him fight him. It's as simple as you're not getting any way out of it. We're going to be making tips left, right, and centre. Well, I'll tell sure. you if I host. Well, I'll tell well, you now. That's it. We've been going over there on the, on the, on the 19th of April for Jordan fight. With Dan there to fight, I'm there to fight. Just come out by the fight. Simon, you're on the video here, you're making a holy show yourself, right? All the travellers in England right now is a joke, can't do any more than my head done for you already. Right, we're not here to call names like, like we are talking about. We're talking sensibly. We want the whole world to know that we want these fights on. Either one fight or four or five fights. We, we, don't, we don't care. Don't make a show of yourselves. Give Joey's out 12 weeks training. He's entitled to it. And accept it. That's it. And we're talking for a big Joe's in a luxury home. And we're not businessmen. And this is my luxury home. 250,000 pounds worth. And left him and I bought it off the council. I bought up the house for 70,000 when the house was cheap. Mm -hmm. I left it. But Jesus, you just spin you up for all smelly trailers. Your mother can't mm -hmm. clean up her trailer. Business me. Oh, the end of the you made three or four trailers. I haven't managed to I didn't watch the videos. You have a hard for facts. You have the one closed area since you made the trailer. And you said you should be ashamed to go into the little gym with a tight tracks with it and a little tight cloth. And a smell. 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 You're, you're dirty, I'm saying I'll make a laugh except for the mountain fight. And you see it? Paddy Ward! Paddy Ward met you four times, Barney! He met you in the scrapbook at your granny's funeral! He met you out in the bog! He met you the other day and go out and fight him out north again and he's a cunt like that! Will you go in and you're talking shit here? His name is that Barney. We call you Boghorn. Because you live in the bog. Boghorn, oh, oh, you're now officially called Boghorn. Oh, oh, and there's one more thing, right? Whatever travellers in England or Ireland is letting the likes of ye say that you're the kings or you're the bosses is bigger fools. Because for one thing, Big Jory's boys will not let ye go with nothing. Or Paddy Wall. Or Paddy Wall let you go with nothing. And bigger share of other travellers if they do as well. Because you're not going to be dirt in our eyes.
Right, Simon, so listen, we've nothing else to say. Come out and fight. Don't make a laugh at yourself going around with Maggie's knickers on inside the gyms, that nine are trailing. Come out and fight and don't make a show of yourself. Today is the 1st of January 2015, and let everyone have a happy new year and enjoy it. Bog hole, you come out as well. Come out, boys. We should have left you in that bog hole. I dragged you out of the bog hole and had you want to put you into a tub. I should have left you inside it. Go. Joe Giles, I've seen your little bit of a tape, you and your four little dog addicts of sons. One of the hairy shite fella, like yourself, full of hair. And you get hair to grow on a shite, if you're not going to look at it, because you are, you know all about the shites, because you're causing the shites 24 7, but you know nothing else. So, the first time when I fought you, me, was in the Ballymahon Road out of Artlone, when you were living in an old, a little old, a, a, a little old port, a little old Arab trailer, not, not an Arab trailer, a little, uh, a little uh, hobby trailer. Small little hobby, Joe, and there is a, and Joe, our blue waistcoat fan belonged to me, Joe. <laughs> I sold it to high sports here for 15 on the vowel, and you were two or three years paying me up for a 24 to 1 out of Alice's old family allowance when you come hunting the van to slow with me. You know how much you pay for the old van. You come over every every old Sunday hunting with me, and you were all the crying out of us. But it's not the upper down, that's not where you're there. And then we had a bit of an old fight. Thomas McDonough, fair play short thing, brought old Martin McDonough and his wife, Lord of her soul, my third one, the old mole by home. The old mole by home was into the West, made old film in the West, that mole. It's in that film now, that old mole by. Put up or down, Joe. When I give you a few clouds, I'd like to put you to Bandless Law, 40 Hong Hospital, but a bad old baton. 14 or 50 of those stitches you got in the mouth and you, but you're covered from it. And you came back the next morning, fair play to you, and you said it was a queer old punch bag. You and poor old Harry Jason, your poor old father Johnny, Lord of Mercy. And I gave you a few digs the next morning to join you, lead out like a big old delicate wake child. My brother now, Willie, Willie Stokes, my sister now, Lena, gave her old sister a bad old bit as well the same day. Lena, you put her through in the old ditch and put the head of her and give her a few old thumps around the jaws. And she fell in her arse. And up and out, little Willie Stokes and my brother Hannafin, right? John West, young John West, old John West, right? All the Stokes, right? When I put you. The cat down and put you into the trailer. Now, Joe, you're talking about five and talking about this that I was now, I would, you won and you won and you won. Joe, everyone knows. The wards knows in Galway. Fair play to the ward, Joe Wards. Every one of them. All the Art and Rye wards. Every, all the Lanies. All the, every one of the travellers. All the, all the Rileys. So, they know how good of a man I was in Ireland. One of the greatest in the world. Then I left Ireland and went to the north and I go over the north. Then I came to England and tried, but I, I, I'm one of the greatest legends that ever was left in the world. There was a lot of good men here. I found a lot of good men. I bet them all. All the best men. I bet all the top class men. I couldn't do any more than that. Now I'm an old man. But Joe, now get your arse over to my side when he put the old pint man on the first day to fight your old hairy arse, shitty arse son. Right? Here in, in, in Hamel Hamster with the bummies. Now if you're not a man, Joe, don't Talk about fight no more. Get off down YouTube, Joe. That's what they call you, YouTube, Joe. This and that. Now, Joe, if you're not over here in the fifth, right, to fight your body, to fight my body, Joe, I'll tell you what to do, Joe. I'm a fair old fellow. I'm, I'm, I'm one hiding and going behind doors. Go, I bet you I'm a night. I'll give you a crack again at me. And I'll knock you clean out the same way again in four minutes. I'll take you out, Joe, because you, you, to me, you're only a backhand. You're not a fighter. You bet old fellas in pubs, Joe. I'll hit them in my backhand when they're rotten drunk with a bottle of brandy and 40 pints, 20 pints in them. You don't know nothing about fighter. You never did nothing about her. This is the living divine legend. This is the hand that shook the world. And this is the hands that are still shaking the world. Though I'm, I'm an old man now and I'm still beating young men in the ring, out of the ring, I'm at the wear of all. I am the living divine legend, Annie McGilly the King. And here is my proof that prove that I am the king. There it is. Number one in the world. The rest of my paper is in the house. All my evidence is in the house of all my fights and all my wins. I just kept this all one minute to show you who is the original king. Fim, the whole world of all worlds. This is the king. Joe. That old Vince is a Paul, Joe. Give you the old house, Joe, that you're living in. In Artlone. <coughs> you're running down all my people in Ireland, Joe. In Artlone and Longford, Joe. Look at the homes, Joe. Look at the houses. Look at the castles. Celebrities. Joe, celebrities you're talking about, Joe. Oh, me, look at my people, Joe, where I came from. That goes out in the morning with, with the night and goes into the swimming pools and swims. Lord, you in an old, in an old 
been going through it, but if Alice is doing her poor old heart broken, right, you're yes. pre, pre, with all the poor old rotten bits of things of around the house, Joe. You know when your poor drug addicts have sons running around the town with a wee bits of bangers and cars, and you're living with old like old refugees, with old houses they're going to give you the poor old flats and the poor old bits of ah, oh, please, Joe. What are you talking about, Joe? Uh, yeah, you couldn't pay me for the poor old van years ago. The old Blue West Cart van, Joe. Huh? Yeah, well, Joe, I know, but you had to pay me because I would have given you a little slap on the job for it. You know that yourself. You could, I, I wouldn't let that go with you. But fair play, you did pay me for it. It was long time waiting for the money, but I got it anyhow at the end of the day. But, Joe, don't you talk, Joe, about McGinley's. And, 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 and Simon's not Simon. He's Simon McGinley. Simon McGinley. Ask, ask Simon O'Donnell above in Dublin. Ask Pat Corcoran. Ask all the wards. Ask all the bumbies. Ask all, all England. Ask, ask every one of them how good of a man I was and me and me boys. Where, we went back three times if I had to fight you and you wouldn't fight. Joe, so, after beating me all, now you're coming over saying you can get a crowd. Well, I tell you what to do, Joe. Bring on your crowd. Bring it on. And we have bring on our crowd. And we get on, we'll have, a, we'll have a fair fight and we'll have a dirty fight. But we'll give you whatever way you want it. Right? Get it on. Right? Simon made the tip for you. And Joe, when Simon made the tip for you, Joe, when he fought the bobcat, you hadn't the guts, Joe, to fucking send him a Janice. You hadn't got the fucking guts, Joe, to send my son Simon a Janice. Simon had to, had to get back on the YouTube. You, you, they send you a Janice because you were fucking terrified of your life of him. This is the real Ridgewood King here. And I said to fucking prove with them two hands. Right. You run and left your father behind you in a graveyard. And you couldn't take your baiting. And you left potholes for the council to repair them. Right. There were out thousands and thousands of pounds. And the Gardaí in Roscommon. Fair, fair play to the Gardaí. Lovely men. Right. You are old blackguards and slags. And you have the country all, all with your YouTubes and your internet. I won't fight no one. But Sir Joe, we have bet on you. There it is, Joe. We have. We have it in evidence, evidence. We have it in evidence, evidence, in the proof of it. Joe, here you are. Look, proper king. a proper ritual king. The ritual king, Joe. Number one in the world. Come back to the old police again to them. Go back, you policemen, ye. And listen for a minute. Listen for a minute. Fair play to the Quinn McDonald's, fair play to the Navins, fair play to all the people has as well. Has, and you got to shake hands. You never, you never won a fair fight, Lunny. You had bits of old draws to shake hands. And Joe, when you get a, a couple of fights under your belt, right, when you don't turn up to 15, Joe, when you get a few, come back and fight Simon. But Joe, up or down, one word of the son. Don't get me wrong, you know nothing about fight. I never will. And don't bring 20,000 euros. And this, don't bring 20,000 euros. Bring 20,000 sterling to match our money. And Joe, listen for a minute. You know nothing about fight. Yo, listen for a minute, Joe. They'll take you, they'll take ye out of the bog, but they'll never get the bog out of ye. Because ye are proper bogmen. Ye fucking fool, ye. Ye know nothing about nothing. Ye and your old, your old homeless flats. And your old council houses. And no money living after we bit a door in the town. Ye dirty, no nothing, low light about. And Joe. Joe. Break. Pulling down your old trousers, Joe. In the chapel. In the chapel. In the Catholic chapel, Joe. In Murrum Yar. And you, Joe, at the Nathan's funerals. And, and you broke it, the pork, the dead, the dead men's crosses, Lord have mercy, the poor soul. And the priest said he'd and never the, forgive him. And the priest said he'd never forgive ye. And Joe, look at how you're having bad luck, Joe, the whole lot of ye. That's how he's caught up in the Joe, that's how you, Joe, your whole family's all, you're all gone junkies, you're getting caught up, you're getting, you're lost in fights, you can't win nothing. You're using dog cards for these Ah, Joe, Joe, please, Joe. Look at who you're talking to, man. Lord, Lord Jesus, look at this man. McGinley, best of McGinley all. McGinley is me name, and fighting is me game. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that is the old king, lads. Remember, you were put up, you were bed up, you were bed up. That is the old king, lads. Hey, my father, my father can use two hands. Remember, I can use them. I can use them. Remember, the lip of the razor, you tell them. Yeah, power that man. The old king. Yeah, man. He is the old king. Proof. Yeah, Look, there's man. the proof, lads. That's the yeah, proof. Man. The old champ. Hey, he is the scummy old man. Bastard. Bring your crowd. You scummy bastards. Go on. Well, yeah, then he'll have a shite. And I'm looking at shite. What you're saying here about shite. So this is what I think you know. 
We shake that the morning came. But I'm finished now, right? So let me get really. You're talking not only shit. Shit. But you push down the kind of part. That's what you hear. Shit. Right? Now really. You are naturally, naturally appear to me. Your son is naturally appear to my son. When you won't, when you won't agree for April in the pines. You don't give harmony. You're all about the Valley Mahan Road, you don't listen to that way. Hey, you do nothing in the Valley Mahan Road. Nothing. Don't you get to have me on the Valley Mahan Road and I swear to my grandchildren. And I wouldn't swear to my grandchildren and I over you. Are you listening? Me and Shopping are going to come out behind you and go out hunting. You stole a hostage on the Johnny West. Johnny West got the guard for you by his horse bag. He was a no son of me at the end of your horse. He wanted 150 pounds for his tail and nail that gave you all cohort. And he wanted 50 pounds for the women down, for the man down farm. You hit the buyer box. He took the place and he hated you. You put your hair like that to finish up. You're good for nothing, any. Any. Doesn't the whole world know to be at night of you? I mean, I'm the bottle of water down here. Look at this. This guy's your fear to me. The big night of you all the world are looking at. I took down big pink head here for about five minutes. Talk the face here. You have to put your own shoulder here on top like that. I got fed up here. I took a piece of your ear off. You let them over here and take his ear off years ago, right? That can really be my way away. And I lay here in the air, Danny. you're not going to scum in here. You're living on dirt all your life, Danny. You want to have the man road. I live in Shoot Taylor that time. A brand new brought back to England. Had an all rage. Key care Rory, right? You would not know in Berman, mm -hmm. and you're drawing every year allowance of the poor old fellas in Bandless Law. Every week you move to your life, you had allowance books. Really, you were not in your scumbag all your life. A scumbag. And when I had the Bandless Law to fight you, and though he stops in the sign of terror, oh, when I get Tommy Dad, I'm going to kill him, but Tommy Dad is there reported. I don't, I want no fire off you, Joe. Here is one of you make to show yourself. But that's exactly what you are shy. You are shy. And now you sign the big old mobile home. A big dustbin, or to clean the child's shy out of the nappies, take them into the, the fucking bin that they had inside the trailer. You shit here! Now, when you talk, you talk about my dead brothers the other day, right? I don't talk about your dead brothers. You dead brothers were scumbags. Out don't be an outside me. Scumbags! And these were anti, wasn't And the brother and the brother and who left the old man 40 years ago down, down, down in Galway. Christy Stoke told me that, and I feared my dead grandchild. Not Christy Stoke, Christy Thorne in Townhouse in Blackberry Lane 25 years ago. And the only way of an old man. You, you're the scum of the year. The scum of the year. And really, well, all the neighbors are getting called. You get ready to come out and fight me the, the 19th of April. Then I took the head of you. When I do so good of a job in the drum, how do you be able to give me 12 stitches? When you're out handed like that, and out took God. You dirty look on you, okay? And take her back before I fight you, boy. Take her back, because there's a smell of a cook go out of you. The he she smells out of you, don't? Oh, you bought it. That was he she you ran down the door. And listen to this. You like a McGinley. In his basket. You never come back. Never, never come back. Come to Dublin again. Come, come to Dublin. Come back to Dublin. Be a cookie man. Come back to Dublin. Be a cookie man. Come back to Dublin, please. You scumbag, you. We're in the whole world in Northern, the whole world in Northern. Joe's boys, yoo-hoo! How do you want to meet Joe's boys? We take no shit off ye. You vermin! Right, uh, Simon McGinty, I'm after you brown off of you. I accept your fight for the fight for the £50,000, no problem. I'll fight you for £50,000 sterling over in England, Simon. On the 19th of April or any time in the middle of April, any time around April, Simon, I will fight you. So just don't make a show of yourself now, Simon. You have everything there. No mean uh, a fight happen a post happen three or four days later. I ain't going out to bait you, Simon, and please come out to me to let let me bait you. You're no good, Simon. You ain't even be saying we're no good. We are better men than ye. Prove it. Come out and fight us, Simon. Fifty thousand pound be there for to fight, Simon. Don't make a laugh of yourself. Any time in the middle of April, the 19th of April, if you're not happy with that, we go a date, the 20th, the 15th, any time around April, Simon, I'm willing to fight you and beat you, Simon. But don't be using your £50,000 to get out of it. Your, you take off. Your, your date, the 5th, the 5th, which is four days away, is not happening. I'll fight you for your £50,000, Simon, 
over in England on any time in April, in the middle of April, no problem. So don't make a show of yourself now, Simon, and your old innocent handicapped father that's making a show of himself, which, which is facts anyway, he did the right thing, hauling a yoke, a, a thunderbird, and go back to front, because oh, he, uh, he is a back to front man. That'll show you what Dan Rooney and my father did to him when he had the yoke turned upside down, because his brain is upside down. And he held his finger. I told him what to do with that finger. Stick it up, Mary, the he, she's hole. Now, Simon, don't make a laugh. He said, come out and fight. Fifty thousand pound be down, no problem. I give over five thousand kick of money over to the bumbies over in England. Anything you want, Simon, get the fight on. Ye good for not making Ginty's bastard. Ye know that we have your number now, boy, and you're not fucking coming out for it to prove it. We're better men than your father bet you all his life. My brother Davy bet Trevor. And now you come out to be, Simon, and I bet you, and our Davy will bet Barney and, and John will bet Michael. You're only dirt. Right here, you begin me. He, she. He, she, any. You don't write it out, he, she, and them dog, any, right? Let them, everybody in them dog told us that about you, right? Let me it now, any. The 19th of April is only 13 weeks away, and that's them. We will scrape up that 50,000 pounds and build over two days beforehand. <coughs> Give it to the bombies. They have your money. Count the 50,000 pounds out to them. You count your 50,000 pounds out. You was ready to fight for nothing and bet for nothing because you're going to be bet and 50,000 pounds took off you. You know that we know that. Now, Amy, you're not nearly my eyes and you just scum of the earth. James Quinn run away with you when I bet the head of you. All the McGill's run away with you down in France between England and I bet you. What? So I'm out of here and all the people in Ireland and England looking at me come to head of you, Amy. And now you, you know Simon wants to do the one thing for the run away. He wants to fight that will be a fear for, for him to get dragged away. It's not happening. You're going to the bumpy side where you're saying you're getting bed, Simon. That's where you're going, mate. Yeah, dirty. That's where you're going. He's good for and any bastard. Well, I give you some bad to be it with them two hands. After a bottle of vodka, what sort of beer? I'm going to kill you up and see these knuckles. I'm building them in the side of your head in for no language. I'm going to, you won't be around in 20 minutes. I'll be well fed. I did never be ready. I'll have the best train I'm going with my grandson, Joe Ward. Two words titles. He'll put it in me, boy. The, the fitness. Why, Simon, don't make a show of yourself. Now, you have everything 50 grand except your date. It's only 12 or 13 weeks' time. Except your date, you're getting bet. You have a guilty bastard. Look at that, because it's going to be drooped through your face. You dirty shit, you come out and fight. You have a guilty bastard. You dirt. Give you are money. never any good. Give your money to the bombies. We give ours. Count it out. It'll be a lovely bit of money. It'll be a lovely bit of money. I, 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 did, I didn't want to be a you and take your money off you. I wanted to be it, I didn't want to keep your money around me, but no problem, I'll be it and take your money, I'll, I'll enjoy myself out of it. You dirty he, she, me, get these bars, don't be yeah. allowed yourself that yeah, fight. Yeah. You dirty. Yeah, look, look. Here's the lady. Oh, Neela. Fight. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, man, oh, man, man, oh, man. man. You're saying you're the fucking king, man. You're good for nothing, man. Yeah, I, I yeah, am the king. You're, you're the king. useless. You're, dirt you. you're the king for riding the he sheets. You fucking dirt. I am on you. I mean, never. Yeah, you're like an old ghost. Yeah, shit. Hit you back a whole time when you're riding down he sheet. Can't she hit you back? She's worth her. Right, this ain't get into your head, Simon. I will never ever be bent. But you'll be bent as soon as you come out in front of me, you dirty he sheets bastard. Now you're a show if you go on YouTube now and, uh, and, and try to make a laugh or fight for four or five days' time. You have everything now, you're 50,000 pounds, have a hat inside, what fucking more do you want? All you want now is your bacon that's coming to you. You he, she's bastards. Good luck now, you yeah. dirt. The Arctic King. Yeah. Right, the Mexican room we there 20 minutes ago. Bumby's Michael's Nevia. He told me that Haney was on the phone to Bumby's Michael Hitler. And Haney said to him that they're going to fifth with 50,000 pounds for one fight only, Big Joe's Joe and he signed me. And if Big Joe's Joe is not there, they're going to Germany for a long, long time and they won't be back. Well, I have news for you now, Annie. You're the first man in history that's going to be fighting me that gives a man four days' notice. Four days' notice, it'd be no good to me or to you, Annie. It'd be good to your son Simon because he's already super fit. It'll take Joe twelve weeks to get ready. Your son Simon made a tape the other day and he said, because he thought we wouldn't agree to him, come over to England, June, Appleby, any date you want, get such a fellow, such a fellow show as fair player, 50,000. Joe went back with a reply, we'll accept the Bumbies and we'll accept his two nephews. I'll fight you the 19th of April. 
for 20,000, right? You're not getting back there 20 years ago. You'll fight me the fifth. Well, the fifth is only five days' notice. A man has to get three, three months' notice for a fight. Because you only get one chance for you to give you one bait and only. So my is only fifth. We will fight you for the money asked, the 50,000 pounds in April. Let the bombies count out years, make sure there's no doubt in it. Count out hours, make sure there's no doubt in it. And the winner is take it all. That be this man here. Now, what that notice again, you're going around and saying, you bet all England, you bet all Ireland. You bet nobody in England. You fight a little price man the other day. It'll matter what Evans don't wear, and you squalify the little man as the man will beat me. You squalify them. You fight Francie Dollar, this young fella, when you small fella for 10 or 20 minutes, and you said, young fella, Fouja, and you squalified him as well. You had a couple of draws with Collinses, you had a draw with the with Prices. Your sons is no good, Eddie. And most of all, they're no good to my sons, and you know that. You know that, dog shite, dog shite, you know that. Ishi. <laughs> what? No, Simon, I'm very disappointed that we won't have a fight because it's all down to your fault. You won't fight me, you're making a laugh of yourself. So if you grow a pair of balls, I will train until the 19th of April. I go and go over to Oxford one way or another and I make my way down to the Manahattan side. So I'll be there on the 19th. If you grow a pair of balls, Jordan time, come back out of Germany, ever you behind and that, we'll get the fight on. If not, don't make a laugh of yourself. Make sure yourself. But I am very, very disappointed that I, I can't get me fight on. But Bill's going for fighting me. You're a show. Go out to Germany, boys, and hide in Germany. That's the first place for you. And the Hitler, the, the Hitler may have thrown me beyond them, that assassination you over there, which there's already two your son getting looked for over there, in Germany and in Holland. I personally know that. I know that. And you know how I know it. You're one there already. And Michael, trust me, you'll never come back to see your father-in-law again. Trust me in that. Trust me. If you do, I'll deal with you. Trust me. So that's it now, really. All the minute you fight about Dan Rooney, betcha, I betcha, the little person fella betcha down in Newry, the Corkin fella betcha years ago, when the Corkin fella betcha years ago, when the Corkin fella betcha John Weston, Art Lone, he never had a man in your name to have a good fight. Where was the man in your name that had a good fight? I can mention a hundred fighting names, a hundred men down the years for the last 60 years. Our people tell us about them. You ain't never had one man a year in the end of a fight. Your old father was going in like an old gobshite. I was up for a man's slaughter three times, and the man was taking the video. Why oh, did you kill someone? Well, I didn't kill him. He was dead for 24 hours. That was a long time we're dead now. Now, that's some shit talk. And that's where you got your shit talk from. You know, you handicap people the whole time. That's it now, boys. The night date is all day. The night date daily. And then with the hand that did you damage you this time. Simon, I think. no one said that the fight was on Monday. We, was no you that said that? It's only your own self making shit talk. Don't no make a show, Simon, and fight on the 19th of April. Every top yeah, man, right. the cliche goes out there. They're proper men, right? They're proper fighting men. Every time you have to fight, there's 12 or 13 weeks to need to train. Where the fit man, man? Where the fit by 19 stone gets to you? And come in on them. Come in and brain damage you. Well, how do you do your own daddy? You are getting brain damage. He's afraid of his life. He's not giving. He's making a show of Barry. Barry's only hitting the wind. Hell, hell, the enemy. Shoo, 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 shoo. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Shoo, shoo. shoo. Well, if we leave his face like that, we get you. We get you in the right spot. We deal with you. Oh, if not, we're going to England the night. Oh, we're going to win the night in the fair. We claim a victory. Oh, we're going to be fair as hell, boy. Believe me, you won't get the way of ourselves. Trust me, you won't. We'll be ready for you. McGinty, he, she, bastards. Good luck. Go to the Joyce's in Ireland in Mode. The hairy shite, shite the buckets what we call them anyway, with the whole YouTube know that and YouTube fighters they are. Okay, Joe, I was on the phone to you before Christmas, yeah? And I told you, I said, I'll fight you on the 5th of January. Okay, you were, you were on the phone, you were on the phone to me and brother Michael on the phone in the shed and calling every kind of shit in the world, yeah? Okay, I was chatting you on the phone, I said, get yourself over on the 5th of January to me and you unbox. I give you three different places to pick Joe, I said, yeah? I said, I'll fight you in the Brents. I said, I'll fight you in, in London, I'll fight you in, in, in Michael the Bumble's Yard in Ham and Hamster. You, you come back on YouTube, yes, you said you'll fight in Ham and Hamster with the Bumbies. Okay, you never, you went on and said YouTube, you'll fight me on the 19th of April. You never said the 5th of January. It was two different dates, Joe. 
I wanted to fight you. I'm a businessman, Joe. I'm not a fucking alcoholic or drug addict sitting at a table pulling cans, yeah? I'm a businessman. I've gone up for a living, Joe, and get a few quid for myself, yeah? But you're dossing around Ireland, run the roads, and baiting bags and making YouTubes. That's your living. I have a different living to see, Joe, yeah? I'm telling you now, Joe, get yourself over on the 5th of January to box me. If you're not here on the 5th of January, Joe, don't come on YouTube no more for me, or don't make Facebooks, or make nothing no more, Joe, for me. Okay, a half an hour ago, I rung old Michael from Ham and Hamster, Michael McDonough, yeah, the Bumbies, yeah? To get out, to get you, to get the fight, get you and your family over on the 5th of January to box me. Okay, Michael, old Michael rung his nephew, Mark Navin, to ring ye, to tell ye to get you over on the 5th of January. Okay, you told your nephew, uh, 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 Mark Navin, you're not fighting me on the 5th of January, you'll fight me on the 19th of April. There was no, there was no, there was no, so there was five months, man. I wanted to fight now, not five months time. I want to get ready to rumble today in the box. By five months. You can end. Old Al Michael, Al Michael Bumby rung me back then. He said, Joe won't fight on, on the 5th of April. He'll fight you on the, the, 19th, the, the, the 5th of January. He'll fight you on the... I said, Young Joe said, he won't fight you on the 5th of January. He'll fight you on the 19th of April. I said, Michael, so I want to fight now. I said, what I told Young Joe to fight on the 5th of, uh, for 5th of January. Now you're going to put the fight back for five months between me and you, Joe. That's not happening, Joe. The world knows that's not happening. You're kicking out. This is the fourth time to kick out of me and you fighting, Joe. I'm ready to box now, Joe. Mine, five months' time. We're not fighting for our world's title, Joe. I'm a tramp for your tramp for the world. We're there to prove a name. But we own your name anyway. My brother's already bet you. I won me fight, Joe. You won nothing, Joe. Yeah, I ain't giving you a name. Mine fighting me, Joe. I ain't giving you a name off me, Joe. I'm making a big man out of you, out of YouTube and Facebook, or me on YouTube every day for you, Joe. I want to fight you, Joe. I'm fighting you on, eight, on the 5th of January, Joe, not on the 19th of April. I'm fighting you for 50 grand as well. There's no way kicking out of this fight. Get yourself over. You don't have to bring your family. It's only 30 minutes on the airport to bring you over, Joe, and get the fight on. You don't need five months training, Joe. You said I'm only a five minutes man, you'll bait me with a few reps. It wouldn't take you five months to bait me in, Joe. The whole world's going to be looking. I'm ready to fight now, Joe. I'm ready to fight in, in the 5th of January. It's only a few days' time. Get yourself over. And bring your 50 grand as well. And you tell your old fucking father, wipe his fucking arse when he goes for a shit. But at the back of it anyway, Joe, a monkey don't wipe their arse anyway at the end of the day. They only lick, fucking lick their hole. A monkey do. <laughs> you, you dirty shite the buckets all out of you. He are vermin. And then, scramsy. Afterbird. When I get you afterboard, I swear look at my grandfather's grave, when I get you afterboard, I'm gonna grab you and shove you up the monkey's hole. Not a fella can't wipe his fucking arms. I'll, I'll shake the book of Joe, one arm. I'm shoving you right up his hole. And now, Alice, you go around fuck, you call my mother names. You're around Ireland faking everything, Alice, you dirty prostitute, yeah. You don't know how to fucking buy a pair of clay knickers for yourself. You dirty whore, yeah. You fucking rubbish in Ireland, you Joyce's drug addicts, smackheads. Be in England for me, Joe, on the 5th. If you're not in England on the 5th, go and fuck yourself, Joe. You have fucking rub. I am the young king, Joe. You know I'm the young king. I am not afraid to fight you, Joe. I tell the boys in Ham and I'm, I'm, I'm here to fight. I'm fighting on the 5th. The 5th, get yourself over on the 5th. I'm boxing you. You fucking hairy, fat, ugly bastard, you. You won't beat me, Joe. You know you won't beat me. I'm too, be I'm too big and hard to beat. I can't from the best. I can't be bad. Me, I can't be bad. And, and, and not a fucking Joyce will bait me anyway. You fucking rubbish, yeah? I will shake the buckets all out of you in Ireland. You drug addicts, you dole men. You hire purchase men. That's what you are. You have nothing. Talk about my father. Talk about my mother. You dirty rubbish, you. Go and wash yourself with your own, with your own glass. Top, t t t top of the table, you think it's Crown Derby, you fucking rubbish. You hairy shites, get up our, our YouTube, I'm making a more for you, that's me finished. If you're not here in the fifth, that's it, over. Thumbs up, I am the king, you know I'm the king, I'm here to fight. Fuck off. I saw your baby tape right there this morning, you were saying that you were chatting me on the phone, the time I was chatting your brother Michael. I was chatting your swell-headed brother Michael, I was on the phone, asking you, asking, will, he, will you fight me, Simon? The words he said after hard calling names of each other, after the third phone call, it's all on YouTube for everyone to see. The words he said was, Joey said, Jay, he said, Simon, I'll fight you, he said, and that would be a horse fair, right? That's my daughter's mascara there, Rosalie, right? I swear that mascara on my Rosalie, 
Uh, I was not chatting you, Simon, on no phone that day. The only time I was chatting you, Simon, I think it was about 12 months ago on a phone, when I, or two years ago on a phone, when I told you that I were that I'm ready now to fight, and you started making a laugh how I come to England. Were you about to, to England when you knew the fight was ready to happen? That was one time. Right, Simon, don't make a laugh yourself. Everyone wants to see us fighting, Simon. You're making a show of yourself. Before John or Davy was making a show of yourself like that, I had no choice when you step out and fight. But all my brothers wouldn't do that. If you have your brother, Barry, Trevor, Willie, whichever one's is better than you, Simon, send one of your brothers out to me. Don't make a show of yourself, Barney. You're supposed to be a fighting man. You, you, fair play to you, you fight two good fighting men, Paddy Ward and my brother John. You went out and fight and hop in. But Simon won't fight. So if, if you're good enough, Barney, you come out the 19th. Trevor, you, Willie, any of the rest of them, because Simon is not fighting. You're only making a show of yourself, Simon. So please, Simon, I'll ask you to come out and fight me. But if you don't have the balls, Come out, one of your, one of your shits of brothers, maybe Barney, Trevor, whichever other dirt wants to come out for the beating on the 19th of April, come out and fight. Because I am beating you lads, Which, whichever one of the McGinty's comes out in front of me is getting bent. So Simon, if you're not good enough, please ask one of your brothers to step out and fight. Don't make a laugh of yourselves, boys. Uh, if my brother was at that, which I wouldn't do it anyway, I wouldn't stand back and let them get me to laugh at So, Barney, if you have a pair of balls, Trevor, whichever rest of fighting men, come out and fucking fight. Or, Simon, don't have your brothers doing your fighting for you. Come out and fight me, man. I be in England the 19th of April to fight. Be safe or, or any of the rest of the and my brothers be there to fight as well. But if the rest of you don't want to fight, let Simon fight me, or if Simon is not good enough to fight me, which everyone knows, let Barney or Trevor or one of the rest of you out to fight me. On the 19th of April, I want to make it to you out in front of me to be it. You're only nothing but he, she's dirty, good for nothing, bastard you are. Simon, don't make a laugh of yourself. I wouldn't swear my daughter lies uh, that. Swear to her, swear to her lies that if I was chat you, Simon, the whole fucking world knows you're a liar. So fucking come out and fight, Simon, and don't make a laugh of yourself. You're good for nothing, bastard. I've been fucking England on the 19th of April to beat you, and you know I'm beating you. And if you don't have the fucking boss of fights, then out one of your fucking brothers, or any man of your supporters. I was chatting one of the stores up money in our hospital three months ago. He was out about Joey, said you can do, one of your own people. Joey said you can do nothing more, he said. It's up to fucking Simon, he said, to get back to you. I was chatting to handle his out in Clara Market. All your supporters, man. They're all making a laugh you, Simon, man. Will you get a fucking pair of balls and come out and fight me? The, your own people will go back, go back a bit. But on my choice, life is facts. They're making a laugh you, telling you that the ball is in Simon's court to fight, man. Will you come out and fight me, Simon, man? You might get these he she good for nothing bastards. Simon, whenever you do come out to fight, if you do grow a pair of balls, I'm... Oh, Simon, I'm going to break you up, man. If you don't have the balls now, Barney, Trevor, Willie, whatever one, and another thing, Simon, you said about people bet, which I was never bet. Right, I, felt like I was chatting one of the Birmingham Daugherty's a few minutes ago on the phone. Jerry Daugherty's sons. Jerry Daugherty's son, young Jerry, bet you, Simon. So you're already a bet man. He cut your brother, he cut your brother Mark up that you're getting to buy a big jail you are. You're shit. You're the policeman. And you're dirt. So Simon, it shouldn't be me. It should be me that's not fighting you, but I just want to go and give you a bait in anyway. Yeah, my guilty he, she's bastard. The black Daugherty's... Betsy, the, the Birmingham daughter, his young jury, and his other brother, Bet, Bet, Bet the Christie fella. They went along and ran you out of their own mobile homes and, and broke up their, your trailers. You're only dirt you are, so you need to say you want Bet. Pa, George is Paddy Bet Barney, two or three different times. You cannot fight me, brother Davy Bet, Trevor, me father Bet, only any, we lost count of the times. Five or six different times, he got sick of it. Now please give me the chance to bait one of you against these bastards and come out and fight. Ye he, she, ye queers ye, ye young Nancy boys. Simon, do you remember a couple of years ago as well when poor young Willie McGinley died, God rest him. We were only about 17 years of age. Me and Teddy's Davey were playing a game of pool. You come on along, I lost the game of pool, yeah? You come on, you're supposed to play next. I told you, go back there, Simon, and I ain't playing another game of pool. I put you sitting in the corner, and I wouldn't even let you play the game of pool till, till I had another game. Do you not remember that, Simon? And all your own people is in the pub. You dirty he, she, good for nothing bastard. Get the fuck out and fight me, you, you shit, you. And don't be making a laugh at yourself for the fight in two days' time. You'll fight, I'll fight you for your 50 grand on any time in April. You he, she, good for nothing bastards. And if you're not good enough, Simon, as I said, send out any of your brothers. I look the fucking Jason, we're unbeatable, man. And you know that, you good for nothing he, she. Snap that off, you. Hello, Joe Joyce. This goes from the old king. 
Right, I'm speaking to the old king, to the, my son, the young king, Simon McGinley. You never turned up the day the 5th of January for the old fight in Hamel Hester. Right, so, you know, his now, so you must be badly terrified of your life, Joe. All you're doing, Joe, is getting on the old YouTube, you and your sons, reading for all me people back there, giving scandal, calling names, don't know what you're at, Joe, you and poor little afterbird. <laughs> Listen for a minute. I'm changing your names now. I'm not leaving you Joe Jace no more, or young Joe. You're the Welton Greyhound Jaces. And I'm changing your other name now again to Jolene. Jolene, I'm taking you away. That's your name now, your new name as well. But up or down, anyhow. Never here, there. You're standing outside me cousin's house there. Stokes, by multi-millionaires. Listen, Scramsey. Now, Vincent Paul's son is keeping you alive there and bought you an old turkey for Christmas, as you had in the price of it. And I hear you went out the road, you and young Joe and Davy, and stole four or five gooses out the road of a farmer's house. <laughs> now, listen for a minute. The McGinley son, you hadn't to steal the, the, the bit of food. If you ask the McGinley's yet, they'll give you the price of a bit of grub, son, because you have that in there. Not a million. But because of any of their stokes, he can't give you that house. It's too good. Then he's going to build you a small little miniature one at the gate. <laughs> at the gate of it now, the same house, but a little small, like a Thai house. But it'll be, it'll be the same as that, like. But it'll be at the gate. And he's put new in the front little caretaker for picking <laughs> up all the rubbish around the house and all that. And he just slap, you know, clap the birch in the door. You know. That's why you were at the gate to, to get a photograph took of the cousin's house. You know nothing, you don't know what you're talking about. You're running around and you're calling he she's. You're calling he she's 24 7. You put another nickname on yourselves as well. What, what, a he she. And then you're talking about here. All oh, your women, you're coming out with knickers, you're coming out with, with, with jeans things. Hey, listen for a minute. Your women is full of hair, Joe. Our women is not full of hair. We go into bed with a woman with a lovely smooth body on her, right? And down her a god jaw. I couldn't get into bed with one of your women. I'd take her to be with a fucking man. <laughs> with hair that left out of his arse. So down her a god, I'd love to get into bed with a woman with, with lovely smooth, lovely body on her, lovely skin on her. Not monkeys. If I went in with your women, I'd get a fucking fair to take out the door. I'd hold them in an hour. You dirty old bastard, you pulling down your trousers in the toilet and your own daughter fitting, videoing you. And hadn't got toilet pepper to clean your arse, well, a monkey in hell don't clean his arse. Joe eyes, that's from the king and the young king. Now, good luck, Joe, and get off calling my fucking people back their names and scandal and this and that, you dirty, hairy monkey, G. Yeah, if we have clean decent fucking women, in the honor of God, and I'll tell you the truth, as, a, as the word to go with a man, I, I, I'd let him go with a man with no hair in his body, I wouldn't let him go with fucking monkeys. Good luck, Joe, bye. You'll hear from me. You'll hear from me no more with your one arm of you. And go and clean your fucking arse. Look now, Jolene.